Bosh bam bam. Another making friends coming at you. So this is the second one in this superhero series. Phobia was the first one. I'm looking back at Phobia just to see what I didn't like. Because it's not that I didn't like her. It's nothing about the character herself. It's the background, the the presentation-wise of it. So, things that I want to think about while I'm drawing, really, because the background is what I do after the fact. So, today's character... Hmm... is a beast, a monster, but he has a purpose. Technically, the beast is the power. I shouldn't call him the beast, really, should I? So, the idea behind this one is there's this little girl who, when blindfolded, scared this monster, beast, werewolf, whatever you want to call him, appears to protect her. Okay. So I call him Scamp because I just think it's a hilarious name. <laughs> just because anything that looks like that called Scamp shouldn't be called Scamp. <laughs> But also, a little girl named him, so it had to be cutesy kind of thing. But he is a protector. Now, Scamp became the protector of this little girl through childhood trauma. He is strengthened by her fear. So he will protect her. But the weakness is that he only comes when she's not looking. So she doesn't necessarily have to be blindfolded, but the second that she looks in that direction or anything, because she doesn't know what he looks like. He just poof disappears if like she looks. So she has to be blindfolded and he will protect her. And she can talk to him and anything like that but she has never laid eyes on him I liked this idea <laughs> I really did I liked the fact that she has a, a blindfold on and she's blindfolded her teddy bear as well I think that's cute I struggled with Scamp's colouring though. I didn't know what colour to do him because I did red last time, so that's out. Orange, mm. yellow, no. She's blonde, so he can't be yellow, and it's not very scary, is it? Could have done him black. Go 
green. I did think about doing him dark blue, but I just stuck with the normal sort of brown colour. I feels like a bit of a cop out. But all the other colours I worked through in my mind, it just it wasn't happening. <laughs> Yeah, so Scamp protects his creator, but only when she isn't looking. He is strengthened by her fear. I was thinking about this in the logics of, like, mm, in a team type thing. So she could be part of a team. She would just have to be blindfolded somewhere. Or not looking. But I also remember last time I was going on about identity. You know, how Batman only wears that thing across his eyes and you're not meant to know that it's Bruce Wayne. And I know that technically she's not in a uniform or in like a mask or anything but I mean would you want to mess with her knowing that he would appear because I know I wouldn't <laughs> so her identity doesn't necessarily need to be hidden because he has her no she has him <laughs> to protect him. Her. Bah. Confusing. <laughs> but he's kind of terrifying. But that's what we needed. I wanted to do it this way because like him not being seen by her because he would terrify her but not knowing and just hearing him and being there as a friend so that they could talk and be best friends it strengthens their bond but she's also not scared of him because she doesn't know what he looks like she just imagines him as a cute little pet Really, he looks like that, and you don't want to know what he does to people. <laughs> but I tried something a little different with the background. Left some white in there, and tried sort of a, like a, a dotting effect on the lettering. It's better, but it's not quite there. But someone did suggest on the last video, but I'd already recorded this uh, black line around so I'm definitely going to try that on the next one but yes she needs to be blindfolded for him to appear but they are best friends and he will protect her at any costs so don't mess with her I just love the fact that she has a teddy bear and he's blindfolded it's too cute. <laughs> it's too cute. <laughs> yeah, let me know what you think of Scamp and his power. What would you have made him? And what would, what should we name the little girl? I think feel like she needs a name. But let me know down below and um, why there. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye!